everyone, this is Ross and uh, this is part of the winterization of fig series. So we are a couple steps in here. The trees are not completely dormant as you can see, but they're turning yellow. The uh, leaves are getting spots on them and they're falling off. So we're getting close to that point. Um, I would say next weekend we are going to be pruning these. And the weekend after that I'm going to be with the help of uh, a friend putting these guys away in the greenhouse or underneath the sunroom. Everything else is pretty much uh, accomplished, but there's one task left before we get to the pruning and the uh, <clears throat> and putting them away, and that's spraying a horticultural oil. And I'm gonna do this on all of my fig trees this year. Um, this is the product that I use, and it's great because you can spray this anytime you want. Um, so you can even spray it, spray it during the, gro uh, the growing season, which I didn't even realize. I would have done this earlier, I think, but I really didn't want to spray trees with figs on them. The majority of these trees, they will not ripen the remainder of their figs, and therefore I'm going to spray them. Uh, I'll probably do a second coat of this spray, but essentially I've already filled up the, the gallon sprayer here can see it down there and it's got a pump you can get this at a local hardware store but you pump this basically and then the pressure is activated in the in the wand here and that's it so what I'm doing is I'm coming around to all of the wood and I'm coating the wood I don't care about the leaves because the leaves are gonna fall off very soon and this will get rid of a whole host of different insects. Cover the wood completely on every single side, even at the base of the tree. Um, get in the nooks and crannies because that's where the scale is hiding. And that's my biggest pest in my yard. Um, and that's really the biggest reason why I'm spraying this uh, particularly now. Um, now I do spray this stuff on just about every single thing every fruit tree I have um, but I wait until the trees are dormant or right before they're about to wake up because there's any if there's any overwintering pests that's what I want to get rid of and we can go back to the bottle here and show you guys exactly what it does controls aphids mites scales white flies and other soft-bodied insects that's really what I'm using it for is the scale but you can use this stuff because it's a fungicide and an insecticide and a miticide it does so many different things in one uh, it's organic and what it does is essentially it coats the in the directions here I'm not sure if it's in this part but what it does is it coats the insect it coats the soft body insects and smothers them so that they eventually have no oxygen I guess and then they die and that's really it there's nothing more special about the spray than that I mean you know it um, it doesn't have an agent in them that kills them like some kind of harmful thing that would be harmful to us it really is just a product some kind of material that uh, that smothers them so by smothering them and coating them coating these branches completely that's what we're gonna achieve is we're gonna completely kill off any scale and the scale has been horrible on my trees or any overwintering insects like I said on any of my other trees you know um, there's definitely some things you can't see along here that will hinder the growth of next year particularly my apples love to get aphids throughout the season so it's a really good idea to use the spray if there's any overwintering aphids like that or just really it's a good habit to get in in the mindset of doing it also will kill off any overwintering disease perhaps because it is a fungicide as well it works all in one and I'm again I'm gonna be spraying this on just about everything I highly highly recommend it we're probably gonna do another video on this but for now I'm doing it just on the figs and I wanted to talk about just the figs and the biggest reason again I'm doing it is for scale potential for um, fig mites those are the two biggest pests that 
harm these trees and before I put them away for good in storage it's good to spray these guys now again with this product you don't have to wait until they're completely dormant even though these trees are getting quite close and uh, these trees will wake up next season ready to go really strong and will put out actually fruit much earlier for me because of that strong growth so here's the product one more time again this is a part one part of the series of winter winterizing figs guys so hopefully you guys learned something and you do this step I think it's really important I don't think it's uh, something you want to overlook especially if you have uh, some scale that you've been seeing like me all right take care and I'll talk to you all soon